We're back on the Leonard project today and we're trying to solve a huge problem with these acoustic piezo horns. What's happening right now is you would think that there's a ground here, a ground here, and then we could ground the system at the reactor, connect everything to ground and everything would be happy. That's not the case. We effectively have two sinusoids after we go through our series inductor and that's causing a problem for whatever reason when we try to supply independent frequencies to both of these horns. So what we're gonna do is we are going to isolate the piezos. We're gonna have these studs have an interface that's an insulator, thereby floating the left and the right piezo acoustic horns. To do this, what would be great would be some sort of maybe like a ceramic male-female standoff, but I couldn't find one of those anywhere that's in like an M10 or whatever this thread is. So we're going to use the next best thing, which is Peak. Peak is a very high temperature plastic. I don't wanna use plastic here if I can help it but this should get us above our 150 C temperature rating that we're going for ultimately. I looked at FR4, you know, Garolite. It's a little bit too brittle for this application. So peak it is, let's make the parts. I don't keep a ton of peak on hand because it's so darn expensive, but I did find these two little drops from an old Zometry vendor job we did. Quick side note, if you're self-employed, you have to get a light box. I put almost everything I make in here. I take a picture of it, I increase the exposure, and I send it to my customers. And that way we have a very nice picture of what was created and we can refer back to it later. As you probably know by now, the journey always begins with CAD. So we CADded up the little standoff here, made the cam output for the CNC machine, made a drawing that I can follow to qualify the part so I know that it's correct. And we're gonna make the part now. I posted out those cam files to this flash drive. We've got our setup sheet and our drawing and our stock for our work. And now we're going to make the parts on this Haas VF2, which is my favorite machine in the world, basically, because it's a simple three axis mill. and We use it all the time. All right, two of them ready to go. Now the piezo horns are electrically insulated from the main reactor body. So we can ground the reactor body once again, let these guys float. Let's get this party started. PWM on both horns, go. There's a huge waveform that even exceeds the O-scope range. I hear it running. Let's check the camera here. There's bubble activity there. Now we're back on the track to stabilizing that. We wanna get one to stick in the middle and we're gonna play with these frequencies again as we've been doing to achieve sonoluminescence. So we are back on track. This is great news. 